Hello and welcome to another Doctor's Assistant 1 video. Today I'm doing a, another behind the scenes so far type thing to Judgment Day Part 4. So we have Part 5 and 6 to go. And um, yeah, um, interesting really. Uh, the Brigadier and Alex have sort of just escaped from these two goons, uh, so to speak. Um, I like using this as a sort of platform. It just gives the sort of Sycorax a bit more oomph to them, you know, it makes them look taller if I do that, or if I do that, it makes them kind of look a bit smaller, but still look a bit more menacing, you know, like they're on this sort of higher podium than the Doctor, even though now the Secret Leader is sort of, you know, sort of uh, eye to eye, so to speak, with the uh, 11th Doctor slash Doctor. Um, TARDIS is still sort of under their control, this Doctor's well, not betrayed the the ne the current doctor, but he sort of he said that he didn't agree with the um, doctor, but but then he has sort of helped him get rid of uh, you know Alex and the brigadier being there. So and uh, fun bit or fun little uh, side note uh, that took ages to do to get them back into the position where uh, <laughs> the swords were sort of on their necks, so to speak, and that, so, um, yeah, hopefully this will be a interesting, uh, uh, story, hopefully people will watch, uh, this part, this part three didn't get that many views, which is, always makes me kind of a bit sad when that happens, but, um, yeah, hopefully part four will, hopefully part six will, as I have some big things happening in part six, uh, so yeah, only two more parts to go, and then that's it really uh, for this series. There'll be another series, uh, and that, and I have a few ideas of what is happening after that, after this series. And I'm thinking as well of doing a video in front of the camera talking about uh, this series of figure adventures that I've done. That started all the way back, uh, for those of you who are long-time subscribers, back with a episode slash story called The Runaway Girl. So yeah, uh... So yeah, if you're big time uh, subscribers, you'll know that, or long time viewers slash subscribers. Uh, but yeah, I'll probably talk through that whole sort of um, sort of overview of the, this sort of series uh, and that. But yeah, um, yeah. Hopefully, this has been good. I mean, uh, the the idea that I got that like sonic feedback loop thing was actually ironically, I just thought of a bit in a otherwise boring slash dull story that I really don't like in retrospect, which is Partners in Crime. Uh, I think it's just dull and boring, and I think at the time I probably really liked it because it reintroduced um, Donna into Doctor Who, and that, and I liked her companion in The, the Runaway Bride. Um, but yeah, but there's that bit where the Doctor gets like the uh, Sonic and then that Sonic pen and then puts the two together and then it's like, oh no, look, shaky cam, dun 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 dun, and then they just like run off and that. Uh, but yeah, so I just thought, seeing as I have the 11th Doctor Sonic screwdriver accessory in his hand and the 10th Doctor one in his hand, respectively, um, I thought obviously that could be a cool, fun way of just making uh, a little bit more... Well, not, I don't know, I was going to say drama, but <laughs> not so much drama, but a bit more oomph, a bit more, oh my god, what's going to happen now, and that, you know, um, and all that kind of did happen is that both the Brigadier and Alex are kind of randomly face pl palmed, 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 bleh, palmed, face palmed the, the floor, uh, and that, so, uh, you know. Um, but yeah, if you couldn't already tell, the whole sort of, this sort of, whole story is sort of leading up to this, um, sort of thing about the, uh, Doctor having to choose, um, and that who has to go, who has to, uh, be sacrificed, and that, and I think this whole sacrifice sort of concept is a really good one, personally, in my eyes, because I've always thought the Sycorax look sort of, not so much medieval, but very sort of witch-like, you know, with their sort of costume design, you know, with the with the staff and with the sort of um, gauntlets and the sort of bone-like, bone-chilling-like helmet-like thing and that. And, uh, I mean, even look like there, like, you got loads of, like, bones and stuff like that, bone-like uh, detailing on him, so... Uh, 
so I always sort of pictured them as this sort of um, species slash race that would do a, a sacrifice and that, um, you know, and again, it's all because this is Judgment Day, this is the uh, the final reckoning, so to speak, you know, this is what the uh, Sycrax think, the Sycrax genuinely think humans are a detriment on the universe when they sort of, you know, the idea is that when the humans are able to go out into the stars that the Sycrax have sort of foreseen a future where they actually are uh, more of a a plague, more of a, a detriment and that. So yeah, it's all very much leading up to whether or not the uh, Doctor would choose maybe the Brigadier to, to get killed or maybe Alex or maybe the Brigadier, maybe Alex, I don't know, but, well I do know, but gonna keep the mystery going <laughs> you know uh could be alex could be the brigadier could be the brigadier could be alex so could be either of them uh but yeah so um yeah i don't know i mean hopefully people like this one and next part i've got a few ideas here and there of what could happen next maybe but maybe a few ideas yeah but yeah, uh, you'll have to wait and see uh, in part five, and then watch the hopefully what I would like to call the epic finale that is going to be part six. Um, yeah, best way of describing part six, ideally in my head, I've got two words: epic and hopefully a game changer. So hopefully you stick around for part six, uh, um, because yeah, it will definitely shake up things. Thanks for watching, comment, rate and subscribe.